Yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure where to start uh, on this one. Oh, boy. All right, let's start at the beginning. I was putting together a video and it was going to show the comparison of our price versus Adobe. And I had pulled up our website, I'd gone to our education prices and shown this is our education price, and this is our commercial price, so you can kind of see what we're saving. And then as a comparison, I had gone over to Acrobat's page and I was showing their commercial price and their uh, education price, which includes prices for students as well as teachers. Here we are on the Acrobat site and here is our annual uh, paid monthly, $19.99 a month and $239.88 a year, uh, but that's for individuals. So let's come on over here and see what kind of discounts we have for students and teachers. And for students and teachers, we have, wait. Wait, am I, am I doing that wrong? What, okay, individuals, right? Okay, there's the, and then uh, students and and teachers. Am I am I missing something? What is that right? Well, that can't be right. Is that right? What is happening? What am I looking at? So so there's nothing. There there just there are no huh. I don't know what to do with this video now. Okay, so you can clearly see my confusion uh, when I was putting this together. Adobe Acrobat does not actually have a discount specifically for Acrobat. They do have a great discount for the Creative Suite if you're interested in getting everything. Uh, but when it comes to just Acrobat by itself, there doesn't seem to be uh, an education price, which is weird, right? That's weird. That's suspicious. Just about every other software application that's designed for productivity that can be used in education has some kind of education discount. Now, there are a lot of reasons why software companies and other companies offer these discounts to education. Sometimes it's a matter of cost, you know, where these are just priced outside of what an educational institution can uh, realistically afford. <laughs> But it also makes good business sense to have these discounts available for students who obviously are not going to be able to afford enterprise level software, uh, but we want them to be able to use our software to have that option of being able to perform everything that they would perform in the workforce uh, while they are still students. And likewise for all educational facilities, um, we always want the best for our students, right? We want the best for our kids. And by providing these educational discounts, uh, we can ensure that more users have access to essential software. And I do consider a PDF editor to be an essential software. Like you need the ability to create and edit a PDF, regardless of what kind of business you're in, uh, education or otherwise, because there are more PDFs than any other document file type on the internet. When you go to a website to download a document, you're usually downloading a PDF, as opposed to like a, a Word doc or an Excel file, it's usually a PDF. And it's the same when we're in the classroom, uh, the homework that we're handing out to our students, uh, if it's digital, it's usually a PDF. When we're downloading resources from places like Teachers Pay Teachers and Teachers Discovery, those are all PDFs. Uh, when we're downloading documents from government sites, those are all PDFs. So having the ability to not only create PDFs for our own organizational purposes, but being able to edit those PDFs, update them, make them more modern, make them more custom, whatever it is that we need, that's pretty essential uh, for anybody that does anything with digital documents. And being able to provide this kind of software to educational institutions, which historically have not usually had uh, the best funding, should we say, at least in the US. It just makes a lot of sense, and if I can be really selfish for a moment, it makes us feel good. Uh, we like being able to help, we like being able to provide something uh, for education, for students. I personally have been working with teachers, I don't want to date myself 
too much here, but uh, let's just say I was there when Windows 95 was announced and blue screened in front of everybody on stage. You'll notice that this scanner built. Whoa. <laughs> I was working with teachers then. I've been working with teachers and educators ever since. And so being able to provide quality software, like truly robust quality software at these really steep educational discounts, uh, that means a lot to me and I hope it means a lot to you. I hope that it's something you can use and I hope it's something that your students uh, get benefit from as well. Please think of the children! So yeah, originally this video was going to be all about the comparison in price, but since Acrobat does not seem to have an education discount or price at all, uh, it, it seems unfair. Like, now I don't want to make that video. I'm going to make this video instead that's going to talk about why I'm not making the other video. That's oddly specific. You're oddly specific. That probably doesn't make any sense, but I'm glad you stuck around for this anyway. If you're interested in learning a lot more about Foxit PDF Editor and what it can do for you, there are links in the description below. Follow those, try it free. You get a 14 day free trial. That's plenty of time to convert some documents, edit some of your resources, update some material, whatever it is that you wanna do with PDFs. If you're looking for volume quantity discounts for licenses over 10, uh, there is a link in the description below for that as well, so just follow along, fill out the form, and we'll reach out to you and set up a time to talk and... I actually sat down at my desk and didn't bring water with me. If you are interested in a campus-wide solution and uh, you're getting more than 500 licenses for your campus for the faculty and for the staff, or if you're covering at least half or more of your university's total staff and faculty, then you qualify for free licenses for your students, up to six times the amount. So if you purchased, say, a thousand licenses, we would give you 6,000 licenses that you can give to your students. If you're interested in learning more about that, follow the link down below. And uh, yeah, like all my videos, I have links to everything down there. Everything that I'm talking about, anything that I'm showing off, I'll put the links down there. I'm even gonna include the link to Acrobat so you can see the same thing I was just clicking on. And then you'll have to let me know in the comments, am I missing something? Did I click the wrong thing? Because I swear that that price did not change when I was clicking tabs. I don't know, maybe I had the ad blocker on, maybe that was... If the new Acrobat Pro student and teacher license prices, if that's affecting you or affecting your school, uh, make sure you let me know. Add that to the comments. I appreciate you watching. I always enjoy your company and I hope you'll come back for the next video. I'm Charles from Foxit. We'll see you in the next video. Bye now.